As a musician that puts themselves on the internet, you are often subject to quite a bit of criticism. And people often want to tell you that you are not as good as someone else, or that you are disrespectful, or that you're lame and dull for working out some chords. And I tell you, that can bruise the ego. And what better way to find out how much of a musician I actually am than by asking the internet? So today, I'm going to take a test to find out if I am a true musician. Are you a true musician only for instrument players? Does that mean singers aren't real musicians straight out the gate? There are many musicians in the world who think they are good musicians. They might be, and they might not be. No one can really truthfully tell for sure until this quiz. If you are one of those musicians who think they're good at music but aren't sure, take this 25 question quiz. It will tell you how much of a true musician you really are. Okay, question one. What is your age? I am 27. What is your gender? I am male. I am Groot. First off, what do you think your answer will be? Well, obviously, I'm a true awesome musician. Now, what do you want your answers to be? I'm a true awesome musician. How many instruments do you play? Okay, well, I play the piano. That's my main instrument. I also play the guitar. I play the viola. And I've played a little bit of sax, a little bit of drums and stuff. So I'm going to assume that playing little bits of instruments qualifies me for four plus. But my main instrument is piano. Out of those instruments that you play or used to play, is either of them piano? Yes, it is. Is either of them violin? Well, the viola is a larger version of violin, so I can play a bit of the violin, so I'll say yes. Is either of them a wind instrument? The saxophone is a wind instrument. I'm not the world's best saxophonist, but if I needed to play it for something, then I could, and I used to play it at school in a concert band. About how long do you practice on all instruments? So now, if you include doing things for these videos, and you include practicing to play for people's exams and stuff like that, it's probably an hour and a half to two hours. About how many days out of the week do you practice that much on all instruments? Well, I play pretty much every day, but if anything, Sunday is a day that I don't play, but it's still six or more. Are you a singer? Not a very good one, but I can make notes with my mouth. It's your How many eighth notes are in the time signature of C? Well, C stands for common time, and common time means 4-4. Four, four. And eighth notes, in Britain, we don't use the term eighth notes, so I assume they're talking about quavers, and there would be eight in a bar. How many half steps are in between E and A? Remember not to include E and A. Well, there's four in between because you've got F, F sharp, G, G sharp. How many sharps are in the key of B major? That would be five. If you are a string instrument player, do you use the Suzuki method book? Now, when I did learn viola, I never used the Suzuki method, but I do know what it is. And I'm also aware of the series of books, but no. Tell me who Dvorak was. Do not Google it. The guy who invented rock music, no. He is only a classical orchestral music composer. No. His first name is Antonin, and it was. He is a classical orchestral and solo music composer. Well, technically, that's true. I assume they're wanting me to say his first name is Antonin, but he was a classical orchestral and solo music composer, as well as chamber ensemble composer. But it doesn't specify only. Do you get private lessons? I do not. I teach private lessons, but I do not get private lessons anymore. About how often do you get private lessons? I don't get private lessons. I feel like this is going to ruin my score for this. Do you read well? I mean, up until music college, reading was actually the worst part of my playing. I was always much better at listening to music and working it out than I was reading. When you get a load of students or other instrumentalists throwing music at you, wanting you to sight read it for their exams or something like that, you do tend to get pretty good at reading. How many clefs do you know fluently? Well, it depends on the context because there's this weird thing where I can read alto clef if I'm playing the viola. But if I'm playing any other instrument, reading the alto clef is hard. And I can obviously read treble and bass because of piano. So I'm going to go with three. Are you serious about your instrument? I'll say serious about one or two because piano is the main one. But I do play music quite a lot. How long are your private lessons? Well, I don't take private lessons. In your practice time, do you work hard on details? Yes. 
very hard. Which is where a lot of people go wrong when they're practicing. They just kind of skate over a lot of the problems. Violin and viola are similar in the way that they have the same strings. Well, they don't. A violin has G, D, A, and E, and a viola has C, G, D, and A. So they share three of the same strings. They have the same size. They don't because viola is bigger. Use the same clef. The viola uses alto clef, and the violin uses treble clef. They have the same shape. Well, they do. They kind of look the same. Are both made of cheese. I would love to see a violin made out of cheese. Last question. What is your favorite type of music? This one is actually one of the hardest ones to answer because I think most musicians have a fairly eclectic mix of genres that they like. But if we're talking about the style of music that I like to play the most, I would have to say jazz because even though some people don't like listening to it and think it's very self-indulgent, when you're playing it, it's actually really quite fun. Okay, let's find out if I am a true musician. 56%. You are a fine musician. You are acceptable, but not as good as some. You do have some music stuff to work on. I hope you like the quiz. That's tough. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm fairly certain that all of them, except the one about having lessons, were correct. So on that note, if you want to find out how long it takes to become a professional musician, then head on through and I'm going to go and cry to myself.